Hey everybody, Logan here. Today's video I did something a little fun. I went and bought every version of Fallout for the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox 360 that I could find. I bet you're like, why? Well, because I just finished watching the series. I haven't played a Fallout in a long time. My original experience was with Fallout 3. I was a big uh, Elder Scrolls guy played Skyrim, so I decided to check out Fallout 3 because, well, it's made by Bethesda, right? Well, after playing it for a few hours, I realized it really wasn't my thing because I like the more uh, medieval dragons, magic, stuff like that, that Elder Scrolls offered, and I wasn't a big fan of the post-apocalyptic uh, setting of Fallout. So a few years go by. To be honest, I don't even remember if I ever played Fallout 4. But, I did play Fallout 76. I played it when it came out, and it's funny because I was working at GameStop at the time and they played the, the commercial on our GameStop TV. I heard it all day long and I went, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. So, with that being said, I think I played it for about an hour or two and it was a buggy mess. And I never went back to it. Now, after watching the series, I was real skeptical. I will say, I thought it was gonna. I thought they were gonna 2024. You know, everything's been garbage. Everything's been some awful spin to it or put agendas. Well, this this felt like everything I knew that Fallout was. And I listened to some other big gaming guys who are in love with Fallout, and they said, "Watch it." And I was like, "All right." I gave it a shot. Really liked the show. So, in order to scratch that Fallout itch, I bought every one I can find. Every different variation that my local game store had. And I've only went to, this was all at one store. And what was cool, all this only cost $125. And it's funny because it cost $125 because I bought another game that was 40 bucks with it. That was a Switch game that had nothing to do with Fallout. So, that was pretty cool. Most of the games were around 5 to $9 a piece, except for I think the New Vegas was 15 The New Vegas's were 12 or 15 something like that. I think this one was 10 this one was 15 because it had the sleeve and everything was complete. Chef's Kiss version. So, that being said, we're going to take a, a little look at each of the versions and I'll show you what I got. All right, let's take a look. Now, I do know there are other versions. There are collector's editions. There were different prints, like for the Xbox One, where they had uh, the 360 slash Xbox One header, where they had both. They didn't have any of those. So, need to say, I bought everything I could find. And this isn't it. I will find every version just because, you know, this is fun and they're rather cheap. Now, I don't know if I'm going to buy the big bulky ones with the helmets and the collector's edition, stuff like that. Don't know about that. I think just the, the disc ones. So let's start where I started with the Xbox 360. And we've got standard Fallout 3 here. So one thing with this, I did have to change the case. I bet you're saying, hey, it looks a little weird. Yeah, because the case was damaged, but it was the only complete version they had there. So there you go. And that's where I got it but I usually take those off. So it was the only one that still had the guide. As you can see, it's not in the greatest of condition, but it still has the guide. So I think that was pretty cool. Uh, and I, I, I remember playing this. I remember not liking it because I don't like post-apocalyptic, but after the show and you know, tastes change. There are other genres and uh, other settings that uh, I, I've come to like, especially in, I, I should say, especially since I've, broken the the 30s and beyond let's just say that so with that being said let's keep going fallout 3 game of the year edition plays on xbox one so this was the initial re-release of fallout 3 game of the year and then there was another version that had the xbox one style case this is when they started to go uh backwards compatible they put that on there so i'm still looking for the xbox one variant looking for that this is when they had them all on the disc which i think is pretty nifty 
but that's the pamphlet now, the booklet. So it does have both discs. So that's pretty cool. And then I picked up New Vegas. Now, I do need to find a replacement case for this one because it was pretty damaged. But this one, like I said, was only, I think it was $9.99? was it $9.99. It was cheaper. It was $9 something. But $9.96 or something like that. But no manual. That's the only thing, but they didn't have another copy. So if I can find myself another copy down the road that has a manual, maybe even better box, I'll pick that up as well. Shoot, I might go do some more game hunting today for Fallout games. Don't know. But, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Next, we switch to the Xbox uh, One. Fallout 4. It's funny because I want to say I remember buying it because I have a digital copy of Fallout 3 and I remember redeeming it. But I do not remember playing this game for the life of me. I, I don't remember much about it at all. But my favorite thing is the map, the poster. It comes with all that stuff. So Vault Dweller Survival Guide. I thought that was pretty interesting to come with. I, I don't remember any of this, and that's, that's what's kind of nuts. So I'm definitely going to give this one uh, a shot. Everyone says you should play Fallout New Vegas. That's the best. But with me having Fallout 3 already, now I have Game of the Year. I'm not sure... If I'm going to play Fallout 3 first or Fallout 4, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. Tell me which one you think I should be playing first. And then, Fallout 76. Like I said, this is the one that I remember playing, and it was just a glitchy mess. And I was just like, okay, I, I can't do it. But apparently, it's been fixed significantly since then. And this version doesn't have anything on the back, which is weird. So, and then I said, no, I saw it not packaged for individual resale, which makes me wonder, did this come with a special edition? So, if that's the case, I need to find a regular copy with the screenshots. So, if you guys know what edition this came with originally, or did it come with a console, drop it in the comments below, let me know. And now on to the PlayStation stuff. I never played any Fallout game on the PlayStation. I really don't play first-person shooters on PlayStation or any kind of first-person games because I don't like the control. Uh, I don't like the sticks being on the same plane for a first-person game. I like them separately in the pro position. So offset. That's how I normally like it for first-person. Since I have a PS3 and I have a PS4, I might just give it a shot just to say, hey, why not? And the first one is Fallout 3. Of course, why wouldn't it be Fallout 3? And I like the fact that it came with the manual. So, no uh, poster or anything, but it came with the manual. The disc is... Most of the discs are near perfect because they do have a, a machine that cleans them. So, they do do that before they even put out the game. So, the, the discs are practically mint on all of them. But, yep. Next is... This one bothers me a bit, but it doesn't, and you'll see why, because that is uh, Greatest Hits. I hate Greatest Hits games, but this is the way it came out on PlayStation. I looked it up. Apparently, there is a standard release like this for Game of the Year, but I haven't seen it. So I'm going to stay on the, the lookout for that and try to see if I can pick that one up in my hunts, too. But as you can see, I think it's this one, and... Was it this one that said GameStop exclusives? No. But there was another one that said GameStop exclusive. And it just made me go, uh, But hey, if that's the only way it was, that's the only way it came out. But I do like the fact that everything's on one disc. Map and manual. I think, because I do have uh, my PlayStation 3 hooked up with all the controllers that I've been testing for the PS3 lately. I never disconnected it. So I might just be playing Fallout 3 on PS3 just for, you know... A new experience because like i said i never played it on playstation and then this is the one that i like the most this fallout new vegas with slip case and you take it out it's crispy like yeah you got a little scuffing here but it's old but it is a crispy game everything seems to be so minty comes with the codes now i'm pretty sure the codes are redeemed but even comes with that brink <laughs> Spring 2011. Whew. We're talking 
this came out, what, 13 years ago now? How old does that make you feel? Did, were you alive when this came out? I was. I was I was still old. I was, what year is this? I was, was 13 years old, 27? Yep, 27. Wow. There we go. I do want to play this one, so I am looking forward to that one. And now, uh, the final console, PS4. I got Fallout 4, of course. Now, this one came with that. Those two. That is it. Disc, everything. Pretty simple on this one. And maybe I'll give it a shot on PlayStation, rack up some trophies or something like that. Then I got... Yep, yeah, you're going to see that one over there. That one I thought was pretty cool. But Fallout 76, just like the other ones, came with a little piece of paper. Is that the, the digital manual? No, it's just for the game controls. Okay, thought it would be a digital manual. So, game. Now, there is a Centennial Edition, if I'm not mistaken. I remember getting that on clearance or something at a target back in the day and i never played it and then i sold it or i traded it in for something for about three times what i purchased it for so eh, is what it is right but i'll look out see if i can find the centennial edition but i don't know if it's going to have all the content and then finally this one was nifty fallout 76 japanese is that japanese it's it's asian uh, it says game disc made in Japan, printed packaging printed in Hong Kong. I'm not sure. I just know this is an Asian version, but I can't tell. That was the only thing I was able to see. And then it doesn't have the the ratings board, so maybe this is Asian English. Is it Korean Chinese? I don't know. But now that I see this, I do need to get a new box. I need to swap out the box. A little damage there. Otherwise, everything else seems to be fine. I just thought it was nifty. To have it in a different language so and i'm not even sure which one it is if you guys can tell let me know drop that in the comments below as well and hey look it kind of came off there but yeah that was that was the most fun one and it says for home use only region three traditional chinese maybe that's chinese i'm not sure it says english traditional chinese so i'm, I'm guessing chinese right I guess. Again, let me know. Let me know if you guys know. Uh, will I try to install it? Probably. See if it works. But my experience is when I buy online games or try to play online games on my PlayStation or any of my consoles that are different region, it doesn't allow me to start up the game. It says it's not for this region. Da, da, da. I did that with Fantasy Star before it came out for... Xbox, I think I played it on the Switch because it was the Japanese release or something like that. And even though I had the correct account, when I would boot up the game, it would recognize my Switch as a US Switch. And I'm like, what? So, but we'll see. So there you guys go. There are my Fallout games. These are the ones I just purchased. I'm going to continue to see what else is out there. I know there's Fallout 1 and 2 and Tactics for PC I saw, uh, I, I was watching Decent Gamers last night, and Dan Vask pulled out a, a copy called the Anthology for PC. I have the Elder Scrolls Anthology for PC, so I'm going to see if I can find that uh, for Fallout. If not, maybe some physical copies of Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics. I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, is what it is. But if anything, at least I got all the console versions here, and then now I'm going to find Look, try to find as many of the variations as I can that have uh, been released. So if there's something I'm missing that you know that I didn't mention or that you think I should pick up, drop it in the comments below. I'm on a Fallout quest right now and a lot of people might end up doing the same thing. So if you're looking at playing these games, they're all on sale on PlayStation Network and uh, Xbox Marketplace and maybe steam i don't know go check them out uh if you want them digitally but physically uh we found out the prices were literally going up now because of the show so i figured i would do this now snatch them all for uh around five to eight nine dollars except for two games like i said so this was a great haul and i'm just going to keep 
looking and hopefully uh, once I find them all, I'm not spending an arm and a leg just for, you know, scratching that itch. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, tell me if there's anything I'm missing. Tell me if there's anything else I should pick up. Again, I'm fairly new to Fallout, even though I know the gist of it. Before I watched the show, I did watch some very good YouTube videos that explain the vaults and the creatures and the, some of the lore behind it. So that was pretty interesting too. But if you have anything to tell me about Fallout uh, as a series, drop it in the comments below. I'm definitely interested in hearing it. But thank you guys so much. God bless. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. Thank you.